Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you had a good night's rest. You're ready to face the day. Uh, if you can tell, um, I had been a little gravelly in the last few days. I tested positive for COVID yesterday. Um, this is the second time. The first time was probably the most severe, uh, which was uh, now about a year and four months ago or so. And then um, this time, of course, with this new variant. So um, I feel good. Um, no problems at this time. We'll see what it holds. Um, we're going to read to you today from Revival Today. And this is something that I read uh, over the past year different times. And so we're going to give it a shot again today. This is January the 19th. God's grace is available to all. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's Romans 10, 9. As he contemplated suicide, a 27-year-old male trotter walked past the Pacific Garden Mission in Chicago. Something tugged at his heart to go in, and God took over from there. He was so drunk that the Usher at the door had to prop him up against the wall for him to stand in the back of the auditorium. He listened to the salvation testimony of Harry Monroe. Little did Mel know that Monroe was paying, was praying as he watched him come in. Oh God, save that poor, poor boy. The Holy Spirit cut through the alcohol, depression, and suicidal thinking in Mel's heart that night, and when Monroe gave an invitation, Mel walked the aisle and trusted Christ to save him. When asked later how he knew that he was on his way to heaven, he replied, I was there when it happened. January 19, 1897, 10 minutes past 9, Central Time, Pacific Garden Mission, Chicago, Illinois, USA. We should be thankful for the simple yet powerful gospel that can break through any heart and save those who believe. We are all sinners. And maybe we haven't sunk to the depths of sin as Mel Trotter, but our sin nature separates us from a holy God and bars us from heaven. The only solution in the sin problem is Jesus Christ, who declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. Being a good person will not save you. Nor will religion, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, and that's Acts 4 and 12. God made the way of salvation simple to all that could understand to be saved. We simply need to agree and confess that sin has separated us from God, believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, died for us, and rose from the dead, and call upon him to save us. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's Romans 10.13. Have you made that decision? If not, will you make it today? <clears throat> Pacific Garden Mission, if you ever listened, uh, they you can go on the web and find it, and, and they're fantastic. It is um, uh, illustrated. Uh, stories and it has the music everything behind it they're acted out just like they used to do years ago for uh, radio um, but they are radio programs that they tell of people's conversions and different things so let's give this one a shot God's children to mourn have been burdened they are longing for heaven's green shore where heartaches are left far behind us and burdens are carried no more Come morning, I'll walk by the river. I'll rest neath 
the evergreen tree. I'll carry my cross through the midnight. Come morning, there's glory for me. Sometimes I'm despised and rejected. And I question, oh Father, how long? Then I take one more look at Mount Calvary. And He gives me the strength to go on. Come morning. I'll walk by the river I'll rest neath the evergreen tree I'll carry my cross through the midnight Come morning there's glory for me come morning there's glory for me Lord as we come to you we do thank you for the day you've given us Lord and we thank you for the breath you've given us in our body God, it doesn't matter, COVID, cancer, car wreck, whatever it is that will take us out of here, whether it be today, whether it be next week, whether it be 50 years from now, God, I pray that it will find me praising you, giving you thanks for everything you've done. Um, just like this man that we've read the story about today that came in and was suicidal and was an alcoholic and had all those problems, God. I thank you that all of my problems have not left, but the problem solver is on the scene. And so, God, I'm thankful for that today. I know that you love us. I know that you care for us, Lord. And come morning, whenever that morning is, we will walk with you. And we're thankful for that. We love you, Lord. We pray that you will bless these folks that listen and hear this today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Thursday.